Welcome and welcome back to EA20 News who get the latest news. After handshake between Laila Amolo Odinga and Huru Mwege Kenyatta in 2018, William Samoy Alaproto knew clearly that hapa, asipo, a, a, hapa akicheza atachezwa. So from there, he started campaigning. He started going all over Kenya. Akifanya ni miradi anafungua but in the process alikuwa ana campaign. He started going to churches especially William Samoy Alapruto hangemaliza mwezi mmoja ama one week kama hajaenda Central Kenya Musti. Within one month alikuwa anaenda Central always and always and always because he knew votes za Mount Kenya zingekuja kumsaidia sana hapa 2022 and we saw it. William Luto knew that power is not given you have to work for it you have to, to fight for it you have to struggle for it see he sika malire that unaletoa kamuti unapatiwa to get power you have to fight for it so william luto knew that thereafter the bbi came and hapa ndipo luto alipata ule maarufu mkubwa sana aliyokuwa na hapa kenya most in central kenya after we after all my Kenyatta na Raila Amolo Odinga brought BBI Winnie Muluto alikuwa ameingia ground na akajua watu hawako wanataka hii BBI so in return akaanza ku campaign against BBI of which most people were against it especially people from Mount Kenya they were they were not um hawako wana support and you saw the readers the like of Moses Kuria ndeni nyoro kimani chungwa they were against it walikuwa menda grand because hapo kwa BBI maisha ilikuwa imeanza kufinya wa Kenya and they did know hawakuwa nataka kitu ingine itafanya serikali ya Kenya ingie kwa mfuko because BBI hiyo committee tu peke yake ya BBI it costed uh, Kenyan citizen taxpayers 10 billion so BBI bado haikuwa imeprocessiwa so inge mkenya ama taxpayer inge mgalimu pesa zingine mingi sana ndo BBI ikamereke. So William Ruto akajua kwamba nakuwa watu hawataki BBI, especially people from Mount Kenya. So he started campaigning against BBI. Tukaenda tukaona kangata kajitoa, akaandikia uhuru mwege Kenyatta, leta mzuri sana akamwambia this thing is not popular in Mount Kenya, akatolewa kwa committee ya Senate pale kama uh, akatolewa kwa senate tukona viaza za like, uh, ilongo kangata ilongo kangata kimani wa matagi susan kega mulkomen wote walitolewa that's another trick william somewhere up, up to your used akajua hii bbi is not i i take pale mount kenya so akaenda ku campaign against the state later william somoy alapo to use this trick serikali ikifanya makosa anaanza kufichua hiyo makosa the like of kemsa He used Kemsa to campaign for himself so much to to uh, pale mbopo wa jeto. Tukuja hapa kwa BBI. Luto knew that. He BBI haikuwa mzuri kwa Kenya. So akatumia lawyers wakaenda uh, high court, he BBI kaangushwa. Waka, uh, hawa wengine wakaenda Supreme Court kuleta nini kesi yao ikaangushwa even to Supreme Court ikaangushwa. BBI ile pe William Samoy Arap Luto umaarufu mkubwa sana hapa Kenya not only in Kenya but uh, not only uh, Kenya central Kenya mostly central Kenya alipata umaarufu mkubwa sana na pale central Kenya akapata watu ambao walisimama na yeye kufa kupona the like of Ned Nyoro legate gachagua kimani ichongwa Alice Wahome Alice kibure kindiki hao ndio walisimama na yeye that another trick you used Another trick William Samoy Arapro alitumia mzuri sana ni pale serikali ikifanya makosa alikuwa anatumia his juniors the Ndende Nyoro the Moses Kure and Hinus Moses Kure very well na anaongea na payuka kupayuka he used them serikali ikifanya makosa ah ndio alikuwa anatumia because maisha ilienda ikakuwa ngumu and they started blaming serikali when kemsa ilitokea hiyo nayo ilifanya Uh, William Samoy Alapruto and his group, group iwe na umaarufu mkubwa sana because they started kupinga serikali. Huru Kenyatta said in 60 days atakuwa amefichua wale wafanye hivyo na watakuwa wamefungwa. 60 days kaisha nothing was done. Walianza kujipigia debe na hiyo kitu ya Kemsa wakaanza kufichua ile mambo mbaya ama zile vitu serikali ilikuwa inafanya ama zile 
corruption zikuwa zinafanyika kwa serikali and that made uh, William Samoei Arap Ruto popular so much popular and another trick William Samoei Arap Ruto used ni ile alijua maisha ni ngumu and he started blaming government kwa kufanya maisha iwe ngumu we knew corona ilikuja na corona ilichangia sana economy kuwa ngumu ili tingeza sana economy but in 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 the um, but in the process William Samoei Arap Ruto was not blaming corona he used his juniors to blame uh, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta and the government of Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta those are just things that William Samoei Arap Ruto used and think William Samoei Arap Ruto ajua kama nakuwa he kitu of this power mtu hawezi patiwa i have to work for it so william somoi alaploto akanza kuleta watu wengine kwake he used a lot of money and we, we all know that to bring a politician to you you must use a lot of money he, he must confuse them akachukua wale walikuwa wafuasi wa Laila Amolo Odinga wa karibu sana akawaleta kwa timu yake the like of Madivid the like of Wetangula the like of Alfred Mutua akawaleta kwake the like of a uh, king those people wa ambao aliwaleta karibu na yeye ni wao walifanya apate 50 plus one. Ukiangalia uko Bungoma kwenye Moses uh, masika wetangu la Atoka, William Samoei Arap Ruto got more than 250,000 votes. Of which ukiangalia kwa hiyo sub 50 plus one, unaona hizo kula za Bungoma zilichangia sana. Kama Wetangula, Madividi and uh, Alfred Mutua King, they were not on his side. Ungeona hizo kula William Samoei Arap Ruto hangepata na in return Laila Amolo Odinga ni angepita hii uchaguzi. So uh, William Samoei Arap Ruto alicheza game nzuri sana. Akajua kama nakuwa no. Let me niende hawa watu because hawafurahi vile uhuru uhuru walishikana na Laila Amolo Odinga. Hawakuwa na furaisho na BBI. Ni kama aliona wametengwa pale kwa azimio la umoja, akaona hawapewi ile ile mamlaka walikuwa wamepewa mbele, hawapewi ile kipeo o, walikuwa wamepewa mbele ama ile Uh, nguvu walikuwa wamepoa mbele hawapei akajua now is his time let me go for them and he went for them na akawaleta kwake and he promised them prominent seats na ndio hao sasa tunaona wanaletea William Samoei Arap Ruto vote tunaona wetangula wetangula anaenda kuwa speaker wa mbunge kingi anaenda kuwa speaker wa senate naye madivida na kuwa uh, chief minister so he brought them near, near, near him na hiyo iliweke sana said la azimio la umoja pale Laila Molo Odinga akiambua na Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta usiende ku campaign Laila uh, or oh, William Samoei Arap Ruto was campaigning all over Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta akiambia uh, Laila Molo Odinga wakati wa campaign haijafika William Samoei Arap Ruto was campaigning alikuwa anapigia debe chama chake cha UDM na hiyo chama ikakuwa na nguvu sana especially in Mount Kenya ikakuwa na nguvu sana because when you go to Mount Kenya uh, like all governors uh, it's only in uh, I think Melo all other governors and in Nembo, Meru and Nembo, I think uh, around the Japata, all other governors, most of the senators, most of MPs are from Kenya Kwanza and UDA. That means William Samoe Alabruto alipigia hii chama debe sana. Alipigia debe sana, alizunguka akikampania. That's why most of people walipita na UDA. Those are just tricks zenye William Samoe Alabruto alitumia na akafanya Laila Amolo Odinga kuanguka because power haipeanwi lakini you have to buy you have to fight for power hiyo ndo Laila Amolo Odinga hakujua Laila Amolo Odinga aligojea apatiwe power ni kama lile uh, Uhuru Muigai amekimbia akuje amalize ampatie na yeye no that's not how power is given you have to come out You have to uh, you have to fight for it. You have to look for it. Ukiangalia zile meka zingine, Laila Amolo Odinga was struggling to fight for it. He was campaigning. He was doing everything to fight for it. But he was unable. Lakini like this time Lord, he did uh Uluto did everything. Akaipata. Lakini like Laila Amolo Odinga reluctant. Akaambiwa na Uhuru uh, Mwege Kenyatta and the deep seat. He kitu tukupatia. And in return, Laila Amolo Odinga akaanguka chini flat thank you guys please make sure 
you subscribe to my YouTube channel and that's how William Samuel Ala Pluto came from a uh, chicken seller to a president a sitting president thank you guys god bless you please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel god bless you god bless Kenya.